another one down. Another one bites the meteor in this case. All right. And these give us food. Uh, food will be really useful in this area because there's going to be a lot of uh, fights we're going to be getting into. The boss fight is, I, be I believe, is a gauntlet of five bosses altogether, so we have to watch out for that one. And there we go. I hope he didn't curse me. Good. And another clear spell. Uh, we'll need one clear spell because fighting this boss will actually give us a lot of status problems, namely poison. But if you have something called a uh, region, uh, something called a kit, or for women that's called uh, something accessory which helps you regen your HP faster, uh, it kind of negates poison, so you don't really need it all too much. I'm going to take this phoenix down just in case, because somebody did mention that the final boss does a lot of damage and I do find that true because I tried fighting them and I died. Okay, he's a he's an axe user. And they're done. I'm kind of going back up here also because I'm trying to look for some defense artifacts. The defense artifacts should come in real handy because the boss will do less damage to me, so... Uh, there's also, I think, about like around like 10 artifacts you can collect in the stage, which is meant for all multiplayer. But there's no point for it as well at the same time because... If your thing is on one player, then uh, you can't collect the other ones after that because you can only pull the maximum of four extra artifacts, and that's it. I'll take that, or maybe not. I also forgot to tell you guys that I kind of, you know, did some grinding off screen because that's how I am. That's how I uh, do my stuff. I don't know why I have his gold gloves, but we're going to take this and we're going to be finished with this area soon enough. Alright guys, <laughs> if you see all that stuff right there, I just kind of had to like do some mind management right at, at the last second. Weird thing is, though, I'm kind of forgetting also to uh, check the timer on my watch, so this time you may notice like, oh man, what the heck's going on here? You didn't forget to, you forgot to do a little uh, uh, intermission, I guess you want to say that, between videos. And you die, sir. Alright, now we're done. Let's hope this is a defense artifact. If I don't find any... Oh, damn, there's nothing in here, wow. What the heck? I'll just two guys for nothing. Let's just get going on, because we are... just going to defeat this area all the way through. Uh, fighting the final boss, I guess I'll just give away his name right now. His name is his name is uh, Meteor Parasite. The reason why he's here on his Earth because he just came on the meteor and started causing a bunch of madness and started you know screwing up everything after he shattered the Great Crystal. That's kind of how the story goes. After the uh, the Meteor Parasite landed, he started making my asthma, and after that, you know everybody started suffering and you know everybody wasn't happy and all that so we are here to try to fix that. Apparently, people have tried to do this, uh, try to do this up before us, namely Hurdy and Leon. Uh, it might be, it might sound strange because Hurdy is actually part of the story. He was actually one of the people who tried to stop this incident or stop, or stop the miasma in this case. And along with Leon, you guys may not know who Leon is, but Leon is actually the Black Knight. So that's the story of the game, or well, part of it at least. I don't need another attack one. There's a lot of thunders here. This space is... Yeah, like I said again, this space is just basically prepping you up if you were on multiplayer. So you're going to get like four thunder spells all together. Which is really stupid, but... Uh, also, uh, these Dark Knights, they can be easily defeated by regular magic as well, like Thunderas, or thun yeah, or Fyra. Uh, dark Death Knights are actually pretty limpy, in, in my opinion. But here we go, and here's another defense artifact. All right, another Elven Mantle. That's what I needed. That's what I needed. Okay. So now we're gonna go to the left area of this area of this uh, Mount Valenia place. Why did I call it that? I do like Mount Valenia, but Mount Valenia is also uh, one of my favorite areas because it's actually decently tough, including with the final boss. Uh, Mount Valenia can also be really dangerous too. So uh, there's no checkpoints either, by the way. Son of a bitch, you got me off guard. Well, let's just take out this guy, and we are being pushed back, but you shall not pass. I can't believe I just made that reference. <laughs> Two shots, and you're done for. Alright. We're just taking as many Phoenix downs as we can, because this guy's going to be tough. Okay, now we're heading this way. Another shade is blocking our path, but he shouldn't be enough. So, just I should have guessed though, the shade is actually connected with the Dark the Death Knight. The Death Knight! That should be a bad name, shouldn't it? Death Knight! And 
along with, uh... We're almost, we're almost done here, people. Okay. Now, we are ready to explore the second area of Mount Blenghe. I think. I always forget where the... I always forget where I lose my place in this map, because I, I'm not looking at this from the Game Boy Advance. I really am not. But I have to memorize where I'm going and stuff. Uh, this area contains nothing. It's just here. I don't know why this spot actually exists. That one little room that you just saw me just go through. It's just there. Um, now we are in the second area. This is right... Now we're inside the meteor. Uh, if you notice where all the ash was coming from, we're just stepping on. This is where all the, uh, the basalts and stuff come from. We've actually taken the liberty of actually visiting a, a, a volcano. Oh, shit! Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it! Get away, get away, get away! Alright, now we're done. Okay. Ooh, I forgot to explain that too. That was a crystal nullifier. It basically cancels out the effects of your crystal chalice. If you're near it, it will kill you. Well, not really. Not literally, like, um, directly. But it will kill you indirectly because it will just get rid of your crystal chalice aura. And you are basically exposed to the elements of the miasma. This guy is called a fire tentacle, namely because he casts fire. Uh, these guys are pretty easy, but the later ones that are like Tasloka and stuff are the really stupidly, uh, stupidly annoying ones, which I'll have to start equipping myself with some decent armor. With some decent armor, I mean. Okay, now there should be another one. You can always tell there's a crystal nullifier if uh, if you can just listen to the sound. It always has a really distinct humming sound here. I have to be careful though. Uh, I could, I can't hear it right now. Oh look, a tonberry. Uh, these tonberries are basically the grandfather of all tonberries. Uh, th with their amazingly charged doink sound, they can almost kill you. They actually, I believe in my case, uh, that Tonberry should do about four hearts of damage, so I'm... Okay, there it is. Thankfully, my character has really good range, so I'm sorry to spam me with this move. These things take about six hits, by the way. And this should be enough. And that's it. That's what I like doing about... That's what I like doing with uh, Selkie, because... the sense they're pretty useful. With their attacks and all. Okay, now... Let's just take this guy out and get him out of our way. Die, Shade! Although you're dead, but technically I'll be destroying him, so eat that! And under here should be a new Moogle House. And that's where the final Moogle House is! So, let's take a break, uh, get some coffee, you know, get some Gatorade and all this stuff, and get our final stamp of the game. And here we go! We are complete! We are now done with the amazing Koopo! You got all Moogle stamps and stuff and such. As a special prize, you can now pick any course you'd like. What, the, what he means is basically, it's talking about the, he's talking about the Blazing Caravans minigame which you can play on your Game Boy Advance. From now on, just talk to a Moogle at any Moogle nest and play the minigame, whatever minigame you want, actually, whatever course. And, uh, yeah, you can now play any minigame you want. Moogle, you've been upgraded to Admiral! Now it's gone. So, alright guys, next time on Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles, we begin to fight the Meteor Parasite after this small event. So join me, won't you? And see the end of this game.